Hey, what's going on, guys? Tony here, CCXRC, and on the bench we have the WL Toys 14401, and this was sent to us by Banggood to review for you guys. And I've been seeing it all over YouTube, and it's kind of got me a little bit excited about what's in the box here. I do like smaller scale vehicles. I've had the other WL Toys that are even smaller, like the A969, A959, those models, and they're really killer for the cost that you get them for. This is under 90 bucks. And uh, what I've seen, this four-wheel drive, 114th scale buggy looks pretty impressive. Big brush motor, lots of aluminum. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the box and show you guys all of those things that I'm talking about. Comes with the battery charger, what you need to get it going. So let's check it out. All right, so here is everything that you get in the package with the WL Toys 14401. First thing we'll look at is the manual. Has lots of diagrams in here for assembling, working on it, that kind of stuff, as well as how to operate the controller. And uh, yeah, basics, very basic manual. Does have a little wheel wrench here that you can use maybe to take your wheels off. It's plastic and it feels like it's just stripping. It's just spinning, but the nut's not. So you want something a little better than that. Uh, they do give it to you, but it's definitely not something that's going to last. Uh, it does have a charger for the LiPo battery that comes with the car. It's a 2S, uh, so 7.4 volt balance lead charger. The balance lead of the battery will plug in here. It says here output is 2000 milliamp hours, so like a two amp little charger. And it should charge in under an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Depends on how many milliamp hour our battery is. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, the controller is, um, actually not bad it feels pretty good in your hand it feels a little small the way that this is shaped for my big hand but overall you know i've used these before and they work well i can one handed drive them which is one thing i like about them uh, it does have steering trim and then a throttle dual right here to be able to adjust your throttle output and then you've got a mode button here i don't know what that's for never really used it on any of the cars and then your on off switch Four AA batteries go in the bottom there, just slides open real easy. And then this is the car. So it does have lots of metal all around it that you can see just from the exterior of the car. So it's got an aluminum chassis, aluminum shocks, aluminum shock towers, and it's got aluminum drive shafts. And those are dog bones in the rear and in the front they look like it's a universal I can't really tell under the plastic here but it's not straight dog bone to dog bone on this front on the rear it is uh, so looking right up front here at the uh, front end you do have your hinge pin parts here holders basically are aluminum as well as well as the shock towers and I never know whether I like that or not about a vehicle because these can bend especially in a buggy when you don't have a body protecting it when you land it catches and grabs and you can bend that pretty easily uh, plastic bends back uh, one thing I am noticing is it is running um, Phillips head screws for most of the the screws that I'm seeing so far you do have some adjustability for the shocks uh, another hole you can mount there as well as down in the A-arms, which of course are plastic. Most arms are plastic. Uh, it does have metal turnbuckles and they are adjustable. So upper and the steering ones here as well. So you can set your toe and your camber with it. And then in the rear, well first here's the tires. I like the look of the tires a lot actually. They're really cool looking with the all black. Body looks all right to me, Finn. It does have a protective coat still on it. Screws on there. So again, you have that hinge pin retainer kind of thing. Here, that's metal. Metal uh, uh, shock towers. And then the back ones here are running dog bones as your drive shafts out of your uh, rear um, diff. So overall, I mean, the build of it looks pretty good. The front shocks are really, really stiff. It feels like maybe there's too much oil in them. 
I mean, you really have to fight it, and it pushes back on this. I don't know. I haven't seen the other videos if, if anybody else has any shock issue. The, the back ones don't feel as bad, but the front ones definitely feel really stiff. So we'll take off the body here, take a look inside for you guys. I like the paint all right on this. The blue and green looks pretty decent. Battery tray right here in front of us. We'll zoom in a little bit on the car to show you the insides more. All right, so it's a Velcro strap and it looks like you kind of have to slide your battery in here underneath everything. I've seen these come with a lot of different vehicles. So this is a 1500 milliamp hour. So yeah, it should charge in less than an hour. Not too bad. Dean's connections. It's not, not bad. People are kind of moving away from that, but I still use it on a lot of my vehicles. Uh, it is running a combo ESC receiver here unit. And so it's plugged in to the servo up front here, which is a smaller size servo. It is not like a full size. It's not a micro, it's kind of smaller in between. Um, so it does have adjustability on that as well here with the metal arm on it. And it's got a metal red drive shaft that's running through the middle of the vehicle here. You can see the motor is huge. It's a 550 can. So it doesn't say the turn on it that I can see anywhere. It says 550 and it says 9017 slash 77. So the mount for it is metal as well here. We've got in here um, the, the gearing. So you've got your spur here and then it looks like it's probably just a direct gear that runs to both. It looks like a direct drive, does not appear to be a slipper on this and then it'll go right to your diffs so um, all of that power is going to be coming out I don't know if that's going to make it push in the corners a little bit or how it's going to do but we'll see as we drive it but very big motor for such a little car and uh, it'll be interesting to see how fast that goes there is a servo saver I'm seeing up here in the front I'm seeing the spring for it so it's got a metal mount for it on the bottom for the servo saver. See if we can zoom in and see that at all in there. So you can see the spring and then a little bit of a metal sheen down in there as part of that servo saver. So the Ackerman bar is also metal here. It's got a brace, chassis brace that runs along the top of the, the buggy. And then that has your body post mounted or as part of it. So your servo is a four wire servo instead of three. It does have room for LED lights here. There's a little power button it looks like right there that you click in. So we can go ahead and give that a try and see if we have it power up. There's always a little battery in these. Yeah, so that's a little bit tough to push. Not gonna lie. Usually you try and find a little switch in here, but that little button is pretty small for just quickly reaching under and turning it on and off. It's that little thing right here. That's a little bit interesting. So the uh, standoffs on them are metal, but overall, I mean, it's pretty impressive for the amount of money that it costs. Under a hundred bucks, 90 bucks, all this metal. The tires, have some foam in them they they feel grippy but the texture feels pretty stiff um especially the sidewalls so that's not a bad thing i'm not sure what these tires would perform well on i'm not a racer so uh, i don't know what this tight kind of knobby type th uh, tread pattern will do uh usually i would see somebody running something a little less on a track, like a clay track. So I don't know if this would be something that they use for carpet or what. I think it'll probably do all right in light dirt outside on the cement. Hopefully it'll 
it'll hook up all right there in those uses. I'm not sure who this is geared toward, if it's for backyard bashing, street bashing, whatnot. But uh, at that price, it can definitely be used for a lot of things, I would think. A nice and portable sized buggy for you. And uh, it looks really good. So we'll get out and we'll do a speed test for you, let you know what it runs on that 2S battery that comes with it. We'll also uh, kind of bash it and see how it does around the neighborhood. And out in the back, well, hopefully it's going to be take this off and see if it shines even more. It's got a protective coat on the, the body and I'm already seeing the greens pop a lot more and the blue. So that's nice. There we go. Um, little protective plastic on there. I always like the car pointing this direction for some reason. I don't know why. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and give you a quick look at the team associated next to it. Now this thing does have brushless motor in it. And it, uh, it costs about 170, 180, depending on uh, if there's sales or whatever you get. And I have been driving this thing like crazy. It is my go-to for just quick bashing in the front yard, in this driveway, the street. And uh, you can see that these two cars are pretty comparable as far as their size goes. Uh, length is the same, or width, or yeah, length, width is the same pretty much. So this does sit higher for sure. There's more ground clearance for that, which will help it in the grass. Uh, the shock towers sit higher. The shocks are taller. The reservoirs are bigger, it looks like, on them. That just could be the metal is thicker. I'm not sure. Uh, but these are pretty scraped up on um, my shock towers on the, the reflex. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to do with these metal shock towers but um basically the same same layout with the motor here on the left much smaller motor brushless on the team associated uh servos look like they're the same basic size servo that could be a micro servo now i look at it i was seeing the the case that's holding it in it's a pretty small servo um so you'd have to look up part numbers and find out what you need for that. Uh, both of them have a lot of the same adjustability between the two of them. Both opt for the uh, upper mounted ESCs. This one has a separate receiver, so it's not a combo. And uh, I would say that the, the arms on this uh, reflex look a lot thicker as well. So the plastics look thicker. But um, this does have a plastic chassis. This has metal and lots of other metal upgrades. So interesting. This has been a real ripper for me though, and I really like it. But uh, that's a quick look, you guys, at the WL Toys 14401. Sweet looking little 14 scale buggy and uh, ready to run. All you need is AA batteries for the controller and you can get out there ripping with it. So. We'll have a couple more videos coming for you with this, guys. We'll do uh, definitely the speed test with it and uh, a little bash video. We may just do um, plastic ramps out on the cement, depending on how well this does on the ground. It has pretty good clearance, actually, here. So it might drive off-road, especially in the winter when the grass is kind of not growing and it's staying low. So we'll definitely try it out in the back, see if we can't bash it around back there. But it's a nice looking buggy and uh, based on the reviews I've seen online, I'm really excited about it. Probably have to adjust, uh, try and adjust the shocks here. One of the things that I try to do with the vehicles is run them as they came in the box. Just for people that may or may not know what they're getting into with an RC and what they're going to experience. I want to know what other people are going to experience when they get it out of the box. And so I just try and run it like I'm a newbie and just go for it and see what happens so but I definitely feel like that has too much oil in it but I could be wrong I could be wrong it could handle awesome because this definitely feels like it's gonna kind of more bottom on the back the way that it's bouncing so we'll see all right guys thanks for tuning in as always have you uh, run one of these have you seen him run let me know in the comments down below uh, what RCs are you guys looking forward to for the new year? And uh, just comment whatever you want, guys. Things that you want to see in videos, any of the trucks that I have on my back wall that you want to see, let me know. 
and I will try and get some of that content for you. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not. Leave that comment, give us a thumbs up, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Have fun or see you.